What is up, YouTube? It's me, Jedi on Captain.com, and we've got an exciting video for you today. We've got about 15 tested tweaks that are 100% safe and working for you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. It's going to be, you know, I'm going to try to hit them pretty fast. Not really a review for each one, but as much as what we're going to be able to show you that is working currently so keep that in mind okay now on the screen here you see we have a few things for you here and probably right up front you're going to notice that my uh, icons are the only thing on the screen and that they are moving okay let's go ahead and get that out of the way first the first one here we're going to talk about on the screen you see is Fingal and this is the one causing our icons to move and we talked a little bit about Fingal in a previous video but Fingal is free but it only comes with one theme and if that's it right here you see that I have it enabled and you just simply pick them up put them on the enable disable part and respring and you're good to go so you have to get more themes and probably would cost money but myself I like the free one Fingal the next one we're looking at here is called Hot Dog. We'll go ahead and get the ones you see right out of the way. If you look at my lock screen, my time is in a little bit different place, but out there, down at the bottom, you see I have some customized text, and that's all coming through Hot Dog. Hot Dog allows you to do much, much more than you see me doing with it. You can customize many different things, and we'll go look inside here. You see you can customize your status bar, lock screen, slide to unlock, passcode view, caller user interface, power down, uh, just so much inside here that you can change with hot dog. Be sure and check it out. Next one we're looking at is Moat um, LS. This is a lock screen tweak too, which could be sort of interfering with the way that hot dog's working right now, but we're going to show you this one anyway because it's got the awesome battery animation here. But here in this one too, you can change your uh, where the position of your time and date which I've sort of fiddled around inside of modem here with this and you can see right here date and time alignment I have it pushed all the way to the right if I push it all the way to the left uh, you see you can push it and bring it all the way over to the left side then right there it's right on top of the battery it doesn't look very good so we'll move it back but you can see you can change the uh, battery placement right here uh, this I'm assuming is like an X and Y axis you're running on so you know just sort of position these things wherever you may want them that's going to be left up to you next one is hide labels 10 and all the repos that you need for this will be in the description below too uh, this one you're going to have to uh, add repo probably it's the Danny Glover repo which will have that link for you below but as you can see on my screen, I don't have any type of icons. And to me, why you don't really need them. I mean, you recognize everything just by the icon anyway. So that's Hide Labels 10. The next one we're talking about is Noctus. Now this is a very, very popular uh, tweak in the community right now. And one that was really hyped up. What it does is it customizes the way that your control center looks. It sort of gives you a... Uh, a dark mode if you will and you see there you get the uh, the little toggle you can turn it on and off just by tapping that uh, so one thing I do want to share with you I don't know what caused this but you see here where my uh, sharing my display our display uh, you can't really see anything in here but if you tap on it it appears and you see now I'm, I'm sharing on my Apple TV which now I may have messed everything up where I can't even share with you guys Got everything running fluent like again now we're back in we're going to go to uh, one of the bigger tweaks and one of the most popular what we're going to talk about today probably is called activator now this is in the Ryan Patriots repo and you know the majority of his tweaks are free and he's an awesome developer guys he is a developer that's been in the jailbreak community ever since I came on board, which was probably the first, I think the first jailbreak they ever had that I can remember. Activator is one of those tweaks. It just does so much that we could, you know, sit here, 
do an entire video on it and still not show you everything it does but it allows you to add gestures to do things uh, anywhere and everywhere you can imagine from anything you want to do like turn the volume up and down on your on your device or take it something as simple as a screenshot and I have mine set up here from anywhere uh, I've actually got it if you uh, tap and hold on the home button and and if you touch the right side you turn the volume up touch the left side you turn the volume down and if you hold in the middle you can take a screenshot all that through I done all that through activator and I did it right here you can see the little uh, icons next to all the gestures here so I'm going to try to show you these if you just simply tap where the clock is uh, and hold it'll take a screenshot and you'll see that flash okay if you touch the right side you see the volumes going up if you touch the left side you see the volume is going down so it is working okay and you see right there is the volume up there in the status bar if you look it's coming down okay and that's after all that's through activator uh, you may ask how I'm getting that in the status bar. That's another tweak we're going to talk about. And when it you is see up there in the status bar with the volume. Um, it's called Status Vol V O L X. And this is for iOS 10. Uh, there are ones for iOS 9 and, uh, and other versions. But you can see it puts the little dots up there. I never did really understand why Apple didn't do something like that. But anyway, that's a uh, status file. Uh, the next one we're going to look at this is, is the uh, black keyboard everywhere. Uh, um, and it's a really, really cool, to cool tweak to have. Um, it puts a black keyboard everywhere you go on your device. Whether you're in, whether you're in notes, uh, whether you're in Twitter or Facebook, doesn't really matter where you are you get that black keyboard and it's really got a cool look to it so you know I, and I really enjoy it and you can see here there it is back again the black keyboard and it doesn't matter you know which way you turn the device it'll be it'll still be there just like you want it to be uh, another one we're gonna look at is called the OTA killer now that to me this is probably one of the most important ones we're going to talk about today because it will prevent you from updating uh, your software so it actually kills the OTA and doesn't allow you to do that so if you go in here and go to inst we'll go to our installed ones and go down to where in and OTA right here you can see that it's uh it actually has version iOS 10 and all these do it's it's out all, all these are iOS 10 radio we won't be talking about them but uh, if you need to get some uh, information about this in here as far as what it does and what it's capable of doing, just install it and it will prevent you from, uh, from doing anything you don't need to do that will get your jailbreak removed. Another one is a cool one. It's called Camera Shy. Um, we did a video that had this one in it just a few days ago. Here we are with Camera Shy and doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of notes on it but you know it does state it that's supported with iOS 10.x on all devices and all all display modes so you know you can come in here if you need to it says it makes the tiny glyph just what I was talking about it hides that in the corner while it also hides the the, the uh, page dots and what's what's got my uh, attention about this is the the developer also states that it's expected to, to receive multiple updates in the future, bringing some more awesome features. To me, this tweak has just started and, and really could uh, have, have a whole lot to offer. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is another very important one and will really help you along the way. Uh, and, and it's actually uh, on my device. Uh, I do apologize for not having that last one on there, but this one is called iCleaner Pro. Now, iCleaner Pro, what this does is, is it lets you clean up your device and remove all those junk files that you really don't need. And this will just help keep your device running smoother. Uh, and if you want to talk about all the different things that you can do in here, just come over to the, uh, 
the uh, p page in Cydia and read up on everything. But the map important thing is just letting you see right there on the screen compatible with iOS 4 through 10. So, you know, we are safe on here. And it's real easy to use. Uh, you just open it up and, and touch whatever it is that you're needing. And it will actually um, clean up everything right there, right in front of you. Really, really a good, good one to have. And there was even one that you could even get when the side loading was available. And you can see right here, it puts an icon on your springboard and just, just like a regular application. And it'll, it, it may take it just a second to load up because I haven't opened it yet. But as you can see there, what it does is it analyzes your device and it tells you what you can turn on and off and remove and all that kind of stuff. Um, just sort of myself, I just sort of leave these default settings on because if you go messing around in here not knowing what you're removing, you may remove something that removes your jailbreak. And like I've said, this is a very touchy situation now because you can't restore. You know, earlier when you could restore, you could sort of take chances and do whatever you wanted to do. Awesome way, guys, right now is to clean up your device and definitely one you want to keep on there and check out. Another one of those tweaks that you really, you know, it's not really a whole lot of big deal, but it's it, it makes things look better. It's called the No Folder Background. And as you can see here, this sort of removes that little boundary or outline or whatever of your folders and to me it just looks better it's easier to you know it's just cleaner look uh, there's nothing to custom uh, to configure you just download it and install it and that's it you know there's nothing nothing else to do and that goes right along with the next one I'm going to share with you called no low power alerts and that's one thing about this new battery thing that iOS 10 offers is those uh, low power alerts and they really have gotten on my nerves when I've been like playing a game or doing things I didn't want to be interrupt interrupted with uh, I would get all these pop-ups or banners or whatever telling me my battery was getting low and you know that's that just bugs the shit out of me you know it might not bother other people but it really did bug me so guys I think that's about 15 maybe 20 right there that we've hit on uh, and just to be sure that we have at least shown you that many, I'm going to open up one of my, uh, uh, another one I'm going to show you here is called Keep Banners, and I've not been able to get it to work properly, but this is one I like to have personally, because if you miss a, a message or something, this makes sure that doesn't happen, and what this does is it makes your banners stay there till you dismiss them yourself and to me that's the best way um, but that's personal preference you know like I said you know it's all all left up to me uh, another one you're going to make sure that's on there just to be sure is, is substrate safe mode this you this came with your jailbreak don't go in here and jack with this this is a very important little thing this will help you remove bad tweaks and that and so forth if you need to you can uh, you can put your device in safe mode you need help with that I have a video on that that'll help you get get rid of those bad tweaks without having to actually remove any of your uh, other stuff or lose your jailbreak so keep that in mind so I think we've pretty much hit on everything I was going to talk about but just to make sure like I said I'm gonna take you into one of these repos here that just pretty much everything in here you see is iOS 10 ready and that's in the Danny Glover repo so you go in here and just sort of look around. If there's anything in here that I didn't hit on that you want, uh, most and about everything you see in here, uh, it'll have iOS 10 ready somewhere if it's been updated and ready for it. So keep that in mind. If you're downloading anything, just make sure you, when you open it up that you see right there in the description or, or in the notes somewhere where it says, uh, for instance here it says, hides icon labels on iOS 10. Okay, that lets you know that it's 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 iOS 10 ready. So keep that in mind. You're looking to make sure you've got some compatibility with iOS 10. Uh, a lot of these YouTubers I've been on here looking around, they're making these videos with the top 50 and the top 100 and all that bullshit. 
and when there's not even that many out there yet guys so if you download these tweaks that they're sharing with you and they're just doing this trying to get their youtube videos up uh and their their views and their subscribers and all that well that all that's good and fine but when you're putting information out there that's not really good information to me that's bullshit and like i've always said here uh, on on my channel we leave the bullshit at the door so if you if you want a, a, something that's straight up I will always tell you straight up, I'll never be bullshitting you about anything. Keep that in mind when you're on my channel and tell all your friends to come over here and check it out. Guys, if you aren't on my Twitter and, and Facebook, come over there and hit me up. You know, I share a lot of stuff over there daily, and I'm always just over there just jacking around and aggravating people. But anyway, hit that sub subscribe button before you leave, and like I said, share this on Facebook and Twitter, and keep coming back.